Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Extinct Bricks Unboxing! And always remember guys, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload anything new. And without further ado, let's open up this box. I know it looks messed up but you know, we'll see what's inside if everything's okay. Oh, hey there Moira! Well, to be honest, I don't know what happened to it, but the courier said that he's had several other heavy things on his load, so maybe that's the reason why. Well, anyways, let's get started. I have this uh, cutter with me, so guys, if you are trying to open up your packages as well, and you're not very good with cutters or scissors, please have your parents or your big brother or sister do this for you. Alright, so I brought the thing down and we have one item here. Of course, just to be safe, disinfect everything using alcohol. Thanks for the reminder, Rusher. Okay, so let's start opening. Okay, so let's disinfect some more everything including the GCL. Ah! <laughs> As usual, let's break it down and let's do a sandbrex. There you have it. All in all, we have 11 parts to it. Now let's start. Let's connect the hands to the arms. That's the right and then this would be the left. Let's connect the lower jaw to the head. There you have it. Let's connect the headpiece. Oh wait, I think we have a back piece here. So let's connect that first. All right. You can see those three um, sails on the back. It's really weird, but I think it's going to be awesome. Let's connect the head and the neck piece. Now let's connect the arms. Then the legs. And for the last piece, of course, the tail. And there you have it! The completed figure! Now, the seller actually called this the Sinosauropteryx, but we all know that the Sinosauropteryx doesn't look anything like this. <laughs> it actually looks like this. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna call it the Ceratos Spinal Ceratops. <laughs> what do you guys think? You can see here that it is a very unique type of um, hybrid in my opinion. It has this um, horns on the front of its nose. It has a very distinctive shape to it. It is not just a one horn thing. It's more of an irregular thing, like um, a bigger one, an irregular shape, and then a small one after it. It also has two horns very similar to the Triceratops and a sail on its back very similar to the Spinosaurus. Now comparing it with the head of the Baryonyx here, this is the Lego Baryonyx that I have. I'm just pulling it out of my cabinet and uh, comparing it with this one, the length of the neck is very much uh, different. It has a um, shorter neck to it and of course the head shape is very much different as well. I wouldn't say that the head is totally off or wonky, <laughs> oops, sorry about that, but I think the uniqueness of the head shape to it is very similar to that of the Dilophosaurus as well. Going back to the horns, I think this particular dinosaur also reminds me of Ornithoastes. What do you guys think? The horns here are very reminiscent of the Triceratops, see? Only it points towards the back, not on the front. Looking closely at the jaws of this particular hybrid, you can see that the makers actually did well with the teeth with a little bit of overbite. The seat here, as you can see, has three humps in it. One, two, and three. Very unique indeed. Moving towards the legs and the feet, 
you can see that it's very much similar to that of the Indoraptor as well as the Lego Baryonyx. The tail is long and stiff as well. The arms are very similar to that of the Indominus Rex as well as that of the Indoraptor. The colors of this creature is very um, unique as well. It's blue with certain white colors and purple highlights on the body. So I think it's an overall a really cool hybrid in my opinion. I will be providing the description of the seller uh, on the description box below so do check it out if you want this figure. I don't know if it's available in AliExpress but I got it from Shopee. If you have Shopee on your country, probably this would be available as well. Now it's time to rate this particular hybrid. I'm gonna give it a 10 over 10. That is because of its creativity and of course uniqueness as well. I hope you liked this video of our unboxing episode. We'll see you next time and the GCL would like to see you next time as well on the next unboxing video. Bye for now everyone, but don't forget, our babies Moira and Asher has their own vlog now, The Adventures of Moira and Asher. Please watch their videos and support their channel as well by subscribing. And as we always would say, let your inner dino brick roll!